you are inspired by Anushka Sharma or Deepika Padukone and want to invest in an outfit designed by Sabya Sachi Mukherjee for your big fat Indian wedding, then listen in. Let's take you through the journey of some brides as they meet designer Sabya Sachi Mukherjee. Maybe you can relate to them. सबे साची के स्टोर में एक बार नीचे घूमने के बाद मैं ऊपर गई जहाँ पे पूरा ब्राइडल कलेक्शन डिस्प्ले पे था और वहाँ मैं सबे साची से मिली सबे साची ने मुझे वही ज्वेलरी जो अनुष्का शर्मा ने अपनी वेडिंग पे पहनी थी ही प्रेजेंटेड दैट टू मी Thank you so much. It's amazing. So now thank me after I've done your lenga. Now that the jewelry is over, I'm a little relieved. I hope this is what you wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. जब से उनका उदयपुर कलेक्शन आया था तो मैं उनकी और बड़ी फैन हो गई थी और मुझे वो उदयपुर कलेक्शन इतना पसंद आया था और मेरा हमेशा से सपना था कि मुझे एक लहंगा अगर पहनना हो तो ऐसा उदयपुर कलेक्शन वाला और एक स्पेसिफिक लहंगा था जो मुझे बहुत पसंद था एंड जैसे ही मैंने उनको वो बताया कि मेरा ये वाला बहुत फेवरेट लहंगा है उन्होंने इंस्टेंटली वो निकाला मुझे एंड बोला जस्ट गो एंड चेंज रिसेंट यू नो पर्सन हु आई रीली रीली लुक अप टू जब वो साड़ी पहनती हैं मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि उनसे ज़्यादा ब्यूटिफुल कोई नहीं लगता है दैट इज़ दीपिका एंड मैंने अभी उनको रिसेंटली देखा था आपके एक कैंपेन में जिसमें शी लुक ब्यूटिफुल आई हैड अ क्रश ऑन दैट्स आउ ब्यूटिफुल यस एंड द वे शी कैरी इज द साड़ीज इट्स इट्स जस्ट ब्यूटिफुल सो आई लुक अप टू हर एंड आई इफ आई लुक सम something close to what she looked i think i'll be the happiest person on earth apart from clothes and jewelry it takes impeccable makeup to complete the bridal look renowned celebrity makeup artist dambika pille has been synonymous with bridal makeup because of her mastery of textures and colors and she is here to make sonal look effortlessly fresh and radiant Ujas Rajani is an ace makeup, hair, and fashion stylist. Inki artistic makeup styles ne Shwarya Rai or Sonam Kapoor jaise Bollywood chehro ko hi nahi. International sensations like Mariah Carey and Britney Spears ko bhi diye hain ultra glam looks.
why don't you take some tips as Sabya Sachi patiently helps the brides coordinate their clothes and jewellery. Now that we've decided that you're going to wear a sari and a pale sari, we still have to remember that it's your reception. So we are going to go a little OTT with the jewellery, right? Not too much because it's not going to be bridal, it's going to be reception. So no nut, no mathapatti, maybe not even large earrings, but a big statement necklace. So we can do a statement necklace in three types. Like this is this is a choker. This has got a lot of Lakshmi motifs in it. And then there is a Gutta Pusul, which is from Hyderabad. And then there is another choker, which has a lot of Vishnu's in it. Now you can wear something like this in layers mm -hmm. with small earrings. Otherwise, so you can wear a Navratan. And this Navratan has been done with Longido rubies and gold and a lot of polkis. So it has a, how do I say, like a, it has a more tribal quality to it. Or you do something which is Mughal and reinvented, where you have a series of lots of spectacular polki with a strong pendant. And then with that you have turquoise, you have pearls, you have tourmaline, you have a stunning uh, pendant. And if you look at all these old turquoises, on top of them, we have engraved them with uh, blue sapphire, with rubies. So it looks like a melange of old kind of stones, but also very pretty. Uh, which one do you want? Can I tell you which one I don't want? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't want the center piece. You know, when I was putting it together, I thought as much that you wouldn't like it. Because knowing you, I think you lean a little more towards the classic things. Hmm. So, okay, let's take that away. So you have two choices. I Make a decision. <laughs> I think I will go with this. It'll actually look lovely with the pink Banarsi. This one would have looked nice if you wore a Kanjivaram, but I thought that you might want to wear gold. People often make a mistake with clothing and jewelry. They don't ever pictureize the whole look. But when you wear something as strong as this, uh, there's one thumb rule that whenever you wear a very strong necklace, make sure that your clothes are a little understated and invariably never wear a very large earring. So smaller earrings and just a tikka and this would be absolutely perfect. Shall we try this? Yes. Then, my selected piece was that I tried to try it all and I just felt really good because it was a very beautiful piece tha. and second, ye ki, you know, he is the designer of it himself and uh, it was just a very good feeling, I felt really on top of it.
Hope you were inspired by the journey of the various brides on this edition of Shadi Specialists. Do remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.